Hi friends, this is Rakesh again and today we are going to see how to uh, perform the design calculations for uh, different uh, basic machine element components like gears, pulleys, belt drives, springs etc. Et using a software called MIT Calci. Right? So first of all what is MIT Calci? The MIT Calci stands for Mechanical, Industrial and Technical Calculations, right? And this can be used to calculate the design uh, problems like design problems for basic machine elements like springs and other things and uh, one other additional feature of this software which is very useful is that uh, after calculating the design requirements you can use this software to generate either a 2d output or a 3d output of the part that with, that with uh, that which we have calculated right so today i'm going to give a demonstration of uh, the spring module present in mit calci and how can we open this uh, 3d output into solidworks or bring this 3d output into solidworks so for that first of all what you have to do is have to open your solidworks and uh, i have done it before only uh, and uh, go to the file say new and open an assembly file right and then uh, you must save the file assembly file say control s say just type spring demo right over now you have uh, saved this assembly file now what you can do is you can just minimize this solidworks and go for uh, go and open this mit calci software this generally uses the interface linked with excel right so it is very easy to learn as well so when you once you install this software uh, it will be asking for the macros to be uh, given the permission to run you just say enable content then here you can see there are different selections for which you can do the design calculations right but here uh, i am not interested in gearing i am interested in springs so i will select springs from this top down menu right i say springs then again i say compression springs and i want a metric standard right there are two types of standards here there is the metric standard as well as the imperial standard but i want metric standard and i just click on run then what happens is uh, an excel sheet with uh, some uh, colors and everything open some columns some rows will open right so if you just see here the input parameter section you can input the different details like material selection or what are the conditions in which the spring is going to work right for example if you just click on this checkbox so if you see here it says selection of loading conditions spring operational and productional parameters right so what you can do in this group is you will be putting up what are the uh, under which loading conditions it is going to operate and what are the production conditions right and after you have selected everything uh, you want you can just go to the next section for that i will be closing this section and here it is options for options for uh, spring material so what you can do is you can select already available materials or otherwise you can add an new custom material but this is not uh, i'm not going to show you how to add the new customer ma custom material to this in this video all right likewise after putting up all the spring design requirements like for example what is the maximum working load it should work in minimum working load and uh, full length of the spring what we and uh, everything you have entered your information so oh this is the results section wherein uh, you can just uh, summarize the results you can view the results right like this you can uh, summarize or uh, see the results in a very compact form right 
then again okay if I am satisfied with the design right so what I will do is I will uh, now I want to generate a CAD output for that what I will do is I will be going on to this uh, graphical output and CAD systems and see there are some options uh, wherein uh, we can generate a 2d output or using this button we can generate a 3d output right so here you can also select the what is the file type output type you will be saving this in right by default it will be a dxf file so you say hey, just draw 2d and it will ask you for the uh, location where you want to save the 2d file and you can just specify folder folder and you can save it as a dxf file wherein you can uh, open it in autocad any cad software system right and uh, but i'm not nowhere interested with 2d i'm only interested in 3d so what i will do is i i will click on this 3d button right here so a pop-up will open like this right saying uh, uh, I have an option called insert part so what I will do is I will select this insert part I will click on the insert part right now oh, the part the all the design calculations and the geometrical calculations and everything is now into SOLIDWORKS so by this method you can generate different types of parts not only the spring part for example if I go Oh, to this add-ins and say MIT Calci and say somewhere like uh, Spurgare right and uh, I want to generate with all the keeping all the default calculations I want to generate a assembly of a Spurgare right so what I will do is I will say this 3d option right and again uh, I will say insert assembly right now uh, So now you see there is an assembly of SPARK that is already built into the SOLIDWORKS. So this helps us a lot of time in designing uh, the standard machine elements and modeling them, even modeling them, then assembling them, right? So this is very much useful in this regard and this is how you can uh, import uh, and remember one thing all these uh, separate files that are required or that are used in the strides per gearing assembly are automatically saved in the folder in which you have saved this assembly file right assembly file so you need not worry about all those things whether the parts are saved or not and you can use pack and go format to send this assembly to another persons who may be uh, sitting somewhere else right so uh, can use this software as a very big time server as well as a very good aid for uh, engineering design calculations right so oh, by this uh, I think uh, you have a very basic idea how you can use the software for your own purpose so okay thank you friends bye